Hello, my name is Sean Riley. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I also come from the Pueblos of Laguna and Acoma. Um, I'm 22 years old, been doing barbering for the past four years, going on my fifth year. Um, after high school, I ended up going into barber school. Um, went into barber school for 10 months, graduated, ended up getting my certificate. Worked in a barber shop in Las Lunas, New Mexico, at a barber shop called Kingdom Barber Shop. And it was one of the uh, main barber shops to go to and one of the ones that were the best in um, you know the the city and um, within that you know I worked there for a year and a half ended up um, coming in back into Albuquerque and uh, opened up my own cell phone business here in Albuquerque New Mexico I've uh, been open for the past year and through barbering I've been barbering for five uh, five years and it's something that I love something I've enjoyed it's just something that I really just um, brought peace, brought, you know, balance into my life, something that, you know, I, I just feel re uh, really comfortable in and something that, you know, just brings positivity, not only to me, to my clients and, you know, through positivity, it just, uh, that's the things that I love about barbering is I get to connect with people and I get to meet people and, you know, greet them every day. And, you know, they only, um, not only become friends, but like family. So with barbering, um, I, I'm here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My business is called Revives Barbershop here um, on Montano between 2nd and 4th Street. Um, I just really love barbering, and, you know, through barbering, this is what it's got me to. And, you know, there's only more better to come. All right, so one of the main things that I do when I come into the shop is, you know, I turn on the lights. I make sure, you know, my ring lights are turned on. Just have good lighting throughout the day to make sure I can see the haircuts because lighting does play effect in haircuts and haircutting, especially if you're cutting real dark hair. And, you know, with my main clientele being Native American, they have dark hair and, you know, it's coarse and it's thick. So, you know, you got to have good lighting within barbering. And I never took that into effect once I was uh, beginning barbering. I would cut, you know, with no lighting and could barely see the haircut. But then once they left, you know, you see these lines or... You know, you see too much bulk inside the haircut, but you know, once you become experienced, you uh, realize how much lighting uh, takes an effect within the haircuts and working in a shop, working in a business. And so with me personally, um, the lighting is one of the best things uh, for me as a barber. And, you know, when I come into the shop, you know, I try to make it feel homey, try to make it feel comfy as well. And uh, within that, I uh, try to have music on. So I'll go ahead and uh, toss out my speaker to have, uh, you know, music on just to make it good for uh, my clients and make it feel like a welcomed environment, you know, and, you know, with the music I play, I don't try and play like, you know, crazy hardcore music like Slipknot or, you know, just hard, hard, uh, hardcore metal or, you know, anything too, too loud, you know, I want to make it more of a welcomed environment uh, with good music and, you know, uh, one of the best, uh, um, I guess just one of the best things for me is, you know, that's what makes the client feel, feel welcomed as well. And so within that, you know, I make sure to uh, clean, uh, I'll grab the broom, I sweep around the um, trash bin, around my hamper, around the mirror, um, Get try to get as much hair off uh, on the ground as I can, you know, from the previous day or previous days, you know, because um, hair does get all over the place. So, you know, I try to make it not feel, you know, too gross, you know, within the environment. And like I say, it's all about professionalism. So you got to be professional in this line of work. and. Um, that goes along with your clippers and you know clean off my clippers um, I use a, 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 um, a hard a metal or hard brush I guess um, you know just to try to get off most of the hair and um, you know I'll use a, um, a air compressor as well to try to get the baby hairs out because you know you don't want to cut uh, clients with a lot of hair on your clippers or you know where it makes it feel gross so with me I take that in effect and I take that um, 
uh, very serious. You know, a couple of the things that, you know, um, really make the business, you know, really feel welcomed and clean. And, you know, like I said, um, within the business, I just, this is something I love and it's something I enjoy and I want to keep it open as long as I can. And, you know, these are just the little things you really have to do as a barber. And, you know, you'll see your clients, you know, um, appreciate it and love it. And, you know, like I said, you know, you get extra money or tips in your pocket and, um, you know you're doing something good at if you you know they keep on coming back and you know if they love um, what they what they see inside the business inside the um, atmosphere as well so those are the couple of things I like to do I've known him since high school because we used to live together in the dorms. Yeah, we used to uh, actually live together and in middle school we used to uh, play basketball against each other. Uh, me, him, and uh, his brother uh, David, we used to play basketball and who would have known that we'd become uh, some uh, best friends and in middle school we were rivals. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we're rivals and it was always it was crazy to play against them and you know they were really good at basketball too so it was good to have that competition. and. Going into high school, you know, um, we used to room together and we played basketball together as well, huh? Yeah, and I never thought that we would, we would be good teammates with each other too. Like, we create that bond and relationship yeah. to, up to this day, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're, it's kind of crazy though too, like, you think about it, like, uh, we uh, used to dorm together, play basketball together, and who would have known I'd be your barber, bro? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. We, we do everything together, like like how best friends do. Like we go watch a movie together, go eat, hang out at his house, like just chill. Like it's, it's like the best thing ever. Like it's like having like like a brother in your in a relationship, you know? Like. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's crazy though too, cause then uh, you know even after high school we still been uh, friends, and you know he hits me up for haircuts, hits me up to go hang out, go watch movies, and you know one of the main things that we all get in, we have in common is sports, you know, so we're always watching either football um, or basketball, you know, um, and I think that's the cool thing about our relationship is that we still been bros like, even after high school, and our uh, relationship's only gotten stronger, man. So would you recommend Sean to any of uh, your clients, bro, or any of your friends, family members? Yeah, absolutely. I always, um, always feel more confident because how you, the way you cut my hair and the service you give me to, like, yeah, I always appreciate and always recommend like my family members or friends, like to you if if they ever need a haircut. So yeah, I always always recommend you. So. So, Ethan, how long have you known Sean, and how long have you been getting a haircut from him? Uh, I've known Sean since high school. Uh, we were roommates, suite mates in the dormitory, and then we also played sports together, such as basketball. And that's where we really became close friends. And I feel like before that, was just like where we all bonded was we all had a group of friends, and we were part of that group. So it was like a brotherhood over there. So I believe at school, 
and I've been coming to Sean for like two years now. First time I went to Sean when he was at a uh, barber shop in Las Lunas. So I drove all that way out there to go check him out and I was happy with the results. So yeah. ever since that day, I've been coming ever since. Bro. How do you like the haircut, man? Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, the sides, the top, the back, everything looks okay, you got, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate it, bro. So, Ethan, would you recommend Sean to other people? Yeah, I always recommend Sean. Like, people ask me, like, hey, where, where, who do you go as a barber? I, mean, like, I go to my close friend, Sean. He's always done a good job, never had a problem. So, whoever needs a cut, go to Sean. He's worth it. I honestly just want to open up a bigger barber shop and really just uh, be the head boss, the head man, and you know just have the have the shop and you know really just let it thrive and you know become big and you know a place where everyone's welcome, a place where everyone feels comfortable, the professionalism's there, but also too the creativity of other barbers and that bringing um, more clients to the shop, that bringing clients, you know. Um, to see their work as well um as long as you know i try my best and you know i do the best for myself this is something that i truly and honestly want in the future and it's something that i always work towards each and every day of coming into the shop remembering where i started in barbering from the very first day i picked up a clipper and knowing what i really wanted to do with my future with my life and knowing how far i really wanted to go from cutting inside the dorms in high school to, you know, really thriving and going into a barber school, knowing this is something I wanted for my future, for my career, and, you know, going into barber school, you know, this is something I picked for my life. And, you know, really just getting the experience in barber school, getting the experience out from when I worked in uh, my very first shop in Las Lunas, uh, New Mexico, um, it really gave me that confidence, gave me that experience, gave me the professionalism of owning my own business, my cell phone business, of having clients coming, having my friends come, having my family come, and just seeing the amount of support, the positivity that's here, and just the inspiration to, you know, inspire younger individuals that really want to take barbering into account, into um, being, you know, their own boss as well, and you know, being creative with this and, you know, with the money that comes in with barbering, there's so much to go around. There's so much to share with other young individuals that are starting off their career with barbering and, you know, knowing how the business works, knowing the experience of bringing in more clients, bringing in, um, you know, um, celebrities as well. Um, also being a role model to others and, you know, within the barbershop, this is what yeah, I've all gained for me as well. So I think this is the thing that I really just enjoy and I love and, you know, I just really want to go and inspire other people, other individuals, young individuals, both men and guys, uh, women and, you know, just girls that are in the industry, cosmetologists, barbers, you know, um, really just give them the inspiration to do what you love, find what you love and, you know, it will never feel like work at the end of the day. So. I think that's why I try to tell a lot of my clientele, try to tell a lot of my friends. So um, I just really uh, love the environment I'm in. I love the environment that allows me to connect with, you know, kids, you know, young adults, but also to the elders, you know. Um, I tell them my experience with barbering. I tell them where I came from, how I grew up, but knowing like um, this is the career I picked and, you know, seeing the amount of support I get from them as well because um, not a lot of young individuals pick this for their career you know they takes them a while to go and um, 
um, find something that you know they don't even enjoy finding something they um, feel like they don't love knowing that it's something they hate as well so I think for me and telling that to individuals and to the elders that you know you see the how you inspire them you see um, how when you talk about something and for me how I talk about barbering um, just the amount of happiness and you know the light in my eyes I talk about it and just my future and what I want and what I continue to grind and you know continue to wake up every morning whether it's early in the morning or staying late at night uh, to just cut hair and you know it's simple as that. And um, I always feel good, like a better man, a new man, <laughs> as people as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say a better man than a new man? <laughs> yeah.